Hey guys, real quick before we get into the video, I just want to say a huge shout out to today's sponsor, which is Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN, and if you guys are not familiar with VPNs, it's a virtual private network. If you guys are still like, what the heck? Renee, what the heck? Let me explain a little bit further. Basically, VPNs are online protective privacy tools that help ensure your safety on the internet. It helps ensure that your location is on private. It helps ensure that your private secure data is safe. It helps ensure that you're not getting bombarded with targeted ads. If you guys are not familiar with targeted ads, it's basically like, we've all been there, but basically when you speak something and you all of a sudden get ads in correlation to what you were just speaking about and you're like can my phone hear me what's going on it'll help you from that surfshark is the only vpn to allow access to unlimited devices so you can use it on your laptop you can use it on your ipad your phone whatever they have you. It is super, super important now that everything is becoming more virtual to protect yourself online, to keep your sensitive info and data safe all the time. It's just a bonus that you can use VPNs to access your streaming services and change your location. So for example, there's different location settings in terms of your streaming services. So for example, Netflix, the USA Netflix has so many more titles and things that you can binge watch than let's say, UK Netflix. Noah, for example, is in the UK. He's stuck in there during quarantine. And every time I give him a show to binge watch, he's like, I don't have access to that. Well, with Surfshark, you can access that and actually change your location and get the USA version of Netflix. So when you're traveling, if you are a traveler, um, you can always change your location and just stream your country's streaming services and get access to all those titles and movies. One particular one is Walking Dead. If you guys watch The Walking Dead, you know that's like a really good binge-worthy show. Um, it would have kept Noah company during this quarantine. I told him about it and unfortunately he didn't have access to it. When he uses Surfshark, he can actually get access and change his location to USA and start binging The Walking Dead. Also, they're giving you guys 85% off. That's insane. Yes, you heard me correctly, 85% off. If you use the code Renee and you click on the link in my description box, they also offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you guys use it for a little bit, you don't have to like feel hesitant to try the product out because they're so confident in their product that if you don't like it, you can always get your money back within 30 days. So that just shows the confidence that they have behind their product. And then when you use the code, you can also unlock three months for free. Yes, 85% off, you get three months for free. Use the code Renee, click on the link in my description box. That's the best price that you can get on the market right now for Surfshark. So huge shout out to them for sponsoring today's video, um, supporting my channel, and I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the vlog. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Our channel. Today, it's currently Friday. My hair looks a hot mess. It is 9.50. I was kind of just like laying in bed responding to emails, listening to some music, drinking some warm coffee, just like, you know, Friday stuff. But I decided I wanted to pick up the camera and start vlogging with you guys. I should be getting my wallpaper in. I was supposed to get it yesterday, but they keep extending it by the day. So this might be a day in my life. This might be a few days in my life. We have yet to know, but we're putting up the wallpaper in this vlog. Let's go. It's a beautiful day here in New York. The sun is shining, it's nice and bright. I think I might go for a walk later today. All right, I'm gonna go take a shower. Look what came in, I'm so freaking excited. Oh my God, oh my God. Before I do my wallpaper, I'm going to be filming my mental health update. So just wanna show you guys, I did get ready. I'm getting so much better at using the Babyliss, um hair curling iron. I can show you guys maybe in a future video once I get a little bit more better, a little bit more better, a little bit better. Oh, I forgot to put my Moroccan oil treatment in there. But um, yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I have on my one day at a time earrings, double chain necklace from Princess Polly. I'll pop it down below for you guys. Um, this no bra club tee is actually from Boohoo. I got it quite a while ago. I'm pretty sure they don't have it. If I can find it, I'll pop it down below because a lot of you guys asked me, but I don't know, it's like such a long time ago. And then I just have these basic Forever 21, like black stretchy Sophie style materials shorts. And then I have on my rings from Princess Polly that I featured in my favorites video. Hopefully you guys can see me. I can't put my viewfinder up. So I'm gonna put on some of my Moroccan oil treatment. This stuff makes your hair so nice. Like, okay, so watch my hair. I didn't straighten it or blow dry it. I let it air dry and then I used the Babyliss curling iron. It's like really good. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit of this 
into my hair. And it looks so good. Like instantly, look, the frizz is gone. I love this stuff. It smells so good. All right, I'm gonna film and then we're gonna put up the wallpaper. I'm so excited. I'm done filming. I'm going to be putting up my wallpaper. So freaking excited. You have no idea. This was the first thing that I purchased. I have a feeling I'm gonna get a little bit frustrated because this isn't like the wallpaper that I had last time. The last wallpaper that I had was that gray. It's Tibetan grass cloth. It's from Wall Pops. This one I got from Anthropology, but this is like an actual design. So I'm gonna have to like really take my time, which I have a problem with. Um, really take my time and make sure everything matches perfectly. Just I'm gonna watch, a, I'm probably gonna watch a music video, a video on YouTube that will show me how to do this properly. We're gonna take our time, but we're gonna get it done. I'm telling you guys, we're gonna get it breaking done. Problem is that all of these YouTube videos show two people installing it, but I'm doing it with one person. So hopefully I can do this. I'm gonna put on my playlist called Alpha because I am the fucking Alpha for doing this alone. Get me pumped up and we're gonna do this. Finally! One is up. I'm so excited. Look how pretty. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Money line. Watch out for those who surround you. Need no funny kind. You can't see what's on my brain. I live inside my mind. Out of space and out of sight. You need me in my line. Need no face, don't need no phonies. No, no, no. Need no snakes, no only homies. Down for show. On go, go, go. Get a book and get the. That was extremely painful. That was way harder than I thought. It's like a puzzle. It is not perfect by any means, which, you know, nothing is really perfect, right? I'm gonna be putting an accent table here with like a gallery wall. So I don't think you're gonna see like these imperfections like you can see right here. It's like, I don't know. I tried. I probably should have hired somebody, but I feel like this looks so cool. I'm so excited. Like if you look from far away and trust me, it'll look better. Like once everything's all there. But yeah, I have like, stuff all over my hand. I haven't had any lunch today. Probably gonna make myself a protein smoothie, but like, I'm so happy. I'm just gonna be sitting here doing some emails. I can officially cross off my wallpaper. Oh my God, best feeling. So now I just have a few other things I'm waiting for. My desk is actually not coming until August now, which is lovely, but that's okay. Um. I'm just gonna be sitting here enjoying the nice view, reading through some emails. I posted a video today, so I'm gonna respond to some comments. Say hi. Hi, Black. <laughs> Do you wanna show your baby bump or is that weird? Yeah. Look at her. Oh my God. All right guys, it is currently like 5.30. Um, I am so exhausted. I don't know about you guys, but I get like so tired. I guess like I did do the wallpaper and that was like super exhausting, but I'm just like, I get this slump around this time and I'm like, oh my God, it might be because I'm not working out. Like, does working out give you energy? I feel like it does. Um, I was just on FaceTime with my friend Lindsay and my brother and my mom. I showed them on my wallpaper, but Lindsay is um, officially like one month away from giving birth. Isn't that insane? That's Oh my god, I'm literally so tired. I'm gonna take off my makeup and get in my PJs and probably, I don't know, go to bed? Is that weird? I'll give you guys like a quick nighttime skincare. I take off my makeup with the Green Clean Pharmacy. You guys know this is the Melt Away Makeup Balm. I will pop everything too in the description box if you guys are interested. I actually didn't have that much makeup on today. All I had was that Elastin 
sunscreen. It's like tinted sunscreen. No foundation today. Going to exfoliate. So I'm doing my Dermalogica Daily Exfoliant. It's like a little powder. Just put like a little bit like that. Put a little bit of water. Exfoliate. Now we cleanse using my gentle cleansing facial wash. <laughs> um, this is from Purity. It's Philosophy. I always like massage my jaw because I have TMJ and it hurts. I hold a lot of tension in my jaw. All right. I should probably wear a headband while I do this because my hair gets all fucked up. I put on my toner. I use the Pharmacy Deep Sweep BHA, 2% BHA. I used to use that Paula's Choice and I ran out. Um, I know that a lot of people like that one, but I had this one and I'm trying really hard not to buy any more skincare. Because I just need to use what I have. Alright. And then this Peach and Lily Glass Refining Serum. This stuff is amazing. Makes your skin look like glass. And it has hyaluronic acid, all the good stuff. And then I'm gonna do my retinol cream. So I've been doing retinol cream. The one that I use is the Drunk Elephant one. This is really good so that you like don't get wrinkles. I'm getting so old. But it does dry your skin. So you have to like put a uh, oil treatment on it. And then I'm gonna use the serum that it comes with so that my skin doesn't dry out. It's the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. It's a lot of steps. I'm changing up my skincare honestly. I'm reading that book Younger by Dr. Harold Lancer, who's like a top celebrity dermatologist. And I'm learning a lot from that. So I'm actually gonna sw be switching up my skin here, but this is what I've been doing since I got back from Florida. And then I just put on this, it's vitamin C by pharmacy, the cheer up, because it's cherry, you get it, um, eye serum, and I'm just putting that underneath my eye. I'm not done with the book yet, but it's like he does three steps, so I don't need all this stuff to be honest, but this is just what I've been doing. And I think I'm going to minimize my skincare, try it out a little bit, see how it works for me, and then do like an updated skincare routine for you guys. Um, with everything that I've learned from that book. But I read through all the ingredients that so he says is like a no. And then I've changed up how I do my skincare. And like the process if that makes sense. Which I'll explain in an upcoming video. I want to do it first before like just saying oh yeah do it because I read it in a book. Like I actually want to try it and see if it works out for me. But this is what I've been doing for a while now. I'm feeling so anxious I have no idea why. Do you guys ever get like that? I can just feel my heart going. I don't know why. I felt like I needed to, I'm like really getting anxious. <laughs> Maybe that was stressing me out, like the wallpaper. There's some more stuff I wanna put in this vlog, but I'm not gonna be filming the rest of the day. Like I'm just honestly gonna like lay down. I'm not feeling good, I don't know why. My heart's like racing. This happens sometimes. AC is on, that's the noise. But I just, I hate being so negative on my channel. And I know it's just like a weird freaking time for me, okay? And I try really hard not to make every freaking vlog so negative. Like I look back at my old vlogs and I'm like, they were so happy and positive and like, I just don't wanna ever fake anything for you guys, but I feel like whenever I get these like weird feelings, I tend to like put the camera away and like not vlog but that's just so not real and i just i can't do that it's like eating it's like almost making me feel worse but i just feel like really tight i'm like anxious i have like this weird gut feeling it's like an anticipation feeling i don't know that's the best way that i can describe it and i don't know why i'm feeling like that to be honest like, i actually had a good day I guess because I didn't get out. Um, usually I'll like take a walk and this is my first time I haven't taken a walk um, because I was just so involved in the wallpaper. To make myself feel better, I overeated um, an Impossible Burger, which is from Burger King. It's like a vegetarian burger and some fries. And then I'm gonna put some hemp, hemp. it's like CBD cream on my shoulders to kind of release tension. Just give myself a night. 
just kind of relax, you know? I think I do know what's making me feel like this. Things were starting to get better. I know New York is safe right now, but Florida's getting worse. And it just scares me to think that this could go on for longer. But I talked to Noah. Um, I'm like giving my, myself a massage. I'm getting out my nuts. Um, and he was basically saying like now there's like races to who can, you know, figure out the vaccine first. So he's hopeful that even if things are starting to get worse, that soon we'll be able to have like an answer to how we can beat this virus, you know? I just get scared that I'm gonna be stuck in this situation for too long, you know? It's just not fun. We're gonna make ourselves have a night. I'll just like do little circles on my back. Get all my knots out, some shoulder rolls, and then the CBD cream that I used is by Hemp Strong. Um, it's extra strong, extra strong, so hopefully it'll get these knots out of my back. All right, we're all cuddled in. I'm gonna put my Tempur-Pedic on zero gravity so we can get some more tension relief. Going on up. Oh, this is just everything. There goes my feet. No, I'm also gonna put on Good Boys, which is like a funny movie that is from the creators of Superbad. I'm just waiting for my Uber Eats. Okay, so, what baby told me? Everyone in sixth grade gets handcuffs. Okay, Ninja. Okay, Ninja. They're going to the Wi Fi. Okay, got it? Yeah. Thank you so much. Yay. Back in bed. What a Friday. <gasps> This is my favorite burger, but it's not even a burger, it's vegetarian. But it legit tastes like a burger. You got all the goodies on it. Got my french fries, and then my kombucha. This song always makes me sad. Don't forget, Rock and Ages auditions are tomorrow. Then she looked at me. Saturday. I'm feeling much better. I slept like a freaking baby. I think honestly when I just do things that stress me out It makes me feel really bad. I talked to my cousin last night, um, which was like a really good Conversation, um, I don't know. I like was talking to her about some stuff that were just like on my mind um, and some worries that I had and She was just like so positive and like helped me out a lot and I don't feel guilty. I always feel guilty when I talk about like problems and stuff to people because I'm like, I don't ever want to like bring someone down and I feel like lately, especially all of 2020, it's like every time I update someone on my life, it's just like, it's all my fault, but it's just shitty. Like there's just bad news after bad news and it's like, I feel guilty and she's like, no, don't feel guilty at all. Like that's just what's happening right now. And you know, made me feel so much better, so. I'm in a better mood. All right, I want to show you guys like what I've been doing with my coffee. Let's do my Paris mug. This is my Paris mug. My Aunt Steffi got for me. If you're watching this, I still have it. It says, I love Paris here. It's just a really nice mug. It did break though. I had to like glue it back together. So I'll show you guys what I do to my coffee. It tastes like fall in the best way. Let me get all the ingredients. Hold your horses. First thing is coffee. It's just black coffee, morning breakfast blend. Put that bad boy in there. And then we're gonna do some better half dairy free hazelnut coconut cream and almond milk. This is like vegan, no sugar added creamer. Um, the ingredients are so clean. For those of you guys that are wondering, zero freaking sugar, which is great. I'm gonna do a splash of that. Let's do a little bit more than that. But then I add sugar, but it's maple syrup, so it's better than like the white sugar that is usually added in creamer. Do about like a tablespoon of that, and then I add some saline cinnamon. This stuff is so good. 
And then you take your whisker, which a lot of you guys asked me on Instagram when I posted this recipe. If you guys aren't following me, it's just at Renee Amberg. But I posted this recipe already on there. And this is just like a coffee whisker. I'll pop one down below for you guys if you guys are interested. But it'll kind of froth and blend up your coffee. Yum. And then you have it. A really nice fall inspired delicious coffee. Why are we blue? Cheers. Oh my god. So good! <laughs> getting my coffee table that I got online from Ikea today. It's supposed to be delivering between 9 and 1 p.m. So that'll be fun. We can put that together too. But in the meantime, I'm going to be editing my mental health update that I filmed yesterday. But I'm going to make myself some breakfast. So a lot of you guys asked me too where I got my blender. Pop it down below as always. The best blender. I've had it for like years now and it's just perfect. What I'm going to do is make myself a acai bowl. So I always put in one frozen banana to getting a very creamy, almost ice cream consistency. So pop in one little frozen banana. I typically like to add strawberries, but I actually had some apples that I froze. So I like to get rid of that before I buy anything else. But I just cut up some apples and froze them. So I'm gonna make, pop this in here. It kind of makes for like a nice sweetness. And then I'm gonna pop in one acai pack. I get the unsweetened one. You can get sweetened, but I just typically don't like it, to be honest. So this is literally just pure acai. So I just ran it under some cold water. I broke it in half and then cut where like it broke. And then pop that in there. Careful with acai. It is the most potent color and it can stain pretty much anything. <laughs> Um, it's like beet juice, you know, like if that gets on anything, you're fucked. And then I pop in one huge tablespoon of peanut butter. Um, you guys saved my life. If you guys ever have oil on top of your peanut butter, because it's, if you buy like natural peanut butter and you hate stirring, freaking store it upside down and it like blends for itself and you don't ever have to stir peanut butter ever again. Game freaking changer. So I put like a heaping spoonful because this is the best part in my opinion mm. I fucking love peanut butter and then you're gonna take almond milk and just put a little bit i typically will go until i see like the eight ounces then you're gonna add your favorite granola my favorite granola is the purely elizabeth original it is so yum. And there you have it. My acai smoothie. I'm going to sit here, work on a video, and just kind of wait for my coffee table. Finished editing, and now I'm uploading the mental health update. Um, I do want to chat with you guys real quick about that video. <sighs> Let's chat. Uh, I don't even know what I feel like to be honest with you guys, um, but I have this weird like cloud over me in terms of my YouTube videos recently and I just feel like I'm so negative. Like I got a comment or like a DM from somebody on Instagram, like a follower saying like, I miss your old self, like I miss your Florida vibes, like you were upbeat and more positive and all this stuff and it's like, I almost feel the like guilty for feeling my way, but you know, my life right now and i have hope that it's gonna change but i've been feeling like that hopefulness for a while now and nothing's really changing but 
I just feel like really negative right now and like down but I feel guilty for feeling that way and I feel like I shouldn't be complaining about my problems and I don't know filming that video I felt like I got a lot off my chest but I feel like I was just like bitching the whole time and complaining but you know what sometimes in life that that's your life you know not everything is going to be positive and you're going to be going through like slumps and this is probably the worst era of my life so far um and i shouldn't feel guilty for feeling the way i feel you know not that the person had like dm me trying to make me feel bad or anything like i'm not putting that on them at all i'm just like trust me i know you know like i know my vibe is weird i know i've been not feeling myself i'm feeling like weird but i know that this is temporary i i'm very very aware that this is temporary so I'm, i promise you guys i'm not gonna be like this forever but you know let me feel what i'm feeling and be down you know it's okay sometimes to be down and even though you feel like at least i feel like i'm affecting people's vibes or like just being a debbie downer like that's just where i'm at right now and you know it sucks <laughs> there's nothing else to say but i'm again hopeful that things will start to get better and i don't know just kind of waiting it out so i don't ever want to like put you guys in a negative mindset or mood or anything like that so that was not my intention and i don't want you guys to feel bad or make me like that i'm like different or like depressed or down all the time because like i don't know why i always feel like if i'm ever depressed which i feel like i am in a weird way like i'm not like in some chronic depression or something but i'm definitely not myself and yeah i'm just kind of writing it out and in that video i talk about getting like professional help which i am so excited for um i have an appointment with a psychiatrist so that should hopefully get me some clarity as to how I'm feeling and stuff and my outlook on the life has just really shifted and I think that's completely normal when you lose someone um especially like a parent and I've never lost anyone really like I've had some people in my family that have passed but I was not really ever close to them so I think just also like the death of my father really just makes me look at the world very differently and then adding on top of that everything that has been going on in the world it's just it's like I have this dark filter on the world and I just like don't really see the point in it like not trying to be like that's so deep and that sounds like way off but I'm just saying like death and like nastiness in the world and all this stuff it's just very heavy to deal with and I just like it makes you think of like the purpose of life and like all these deep things and it's just like you just see it way differently and it's almost like negative but like i'm hoping at the end of this like dark tunnel like you'll i'll be able to take this and still see that dark side of the world because it's there but be able to overcome that and still live my best life you know i just feel like i've matured like i've just seen like the real like real life you know like i don't know it's like you i had like a almost like childlike perspective on the world because everything in my life was it wasn't easy but it was i never was touched by loss and i think that totally shifts and changes your outlook on life and talking to someone i feel like is going to really really help me so yeah i don't ever want to make you guys feel like low or down or anything like that but i have changed so that's just life but I don't know, I feel weird putting that video up, like I feel like it's just negative or something, but I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> but I got my Ikea furniture, my Ikea coffee table. Um, let's put this together. I asked you guys on Instagram what you guys wanted to see or what you guys thought matched this vibe the best and you guys said something circular, which I agree because everything in here is just so like rectangular. 
Um, and then I got black. I was either gonna get white or black, and I feel like black makes, I don't know, it fits better here. So let's put this together. <laughs> This is what it looks like. I feel like it looks so much better than if I were to get a non-gloss table because I feel like it would just take up so much room. And then I can actually take this piece off, but I kind of like it there for like extra storage. So let's put some stuff on there. I wanted to put, I need to get like a tray or something to put that on. Um, but so far, there we go. We have my books, a little candle. Yeah, it looks really good. I'm so excited. So excited. I got a package from Fort Forte chocolates. You guys know I'm like obsessed with these bars and they wrote like this really personal card that says some bars for Noah and I. I just think they're such a great company and their chocolate is freaking amazing and they've just been nothing but great to me. Let's see what they sent me this time. I'm hoping and praying for the lemon bar. You guys know I'm obsessed with that one. Look how beautiful they packaged them. I'm totally gonna mess this up, but they're so sweet. Oh, yay! Oh my god. They gave me the lemon pepper white chocolate. It sounds really freaking weird, but it's like an award-winning chocolate. You guys know I'm like, uh, freaking obsessed with this. This is the best chocolate I've ever had. I don't even like white chocolate, but this is just like a lemon, like, coffee cake that melts in your mouth. It's like, ugh. I'm telling you guys, like, please try this. And if you do, DM me and let me know if you liked it. So they also sent me a few other bars. Ooh, ooh, a sea salt milk chocolate and then dark chocolate with orange. Hell yeah. Thank you for it. Oh my god, I'm like so happy. They also gave you guys a discount code if you guys do want to try it. The code is Renee15. You guys can get 15% off your order. Please try it, I'm begging you, so we can talk about chocolate together. <laughs> my pjs i'm all like cozy i think i'm gonna take the rest of the day and just edit this video get it out for you guys yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope that this brought some sort of peace and joy in your life you'll escape away from reality don't forget to check out surfshark link in the description box they're offering like a huge discount um and i'll see you guys all in a future video love you guys